Thanks for stopping by MidwestSports.net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and joining me today on the summit from Fort Hayes State, a couple of student athletes in Casey Kennett, a senior, and Jaden Hobbs, a junior. Tigers who are rolling through the schedule right now, 11-2 and two on the year. And ladies, first off, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking time to be with us on the summit. Thank you. Thank you. Casey, I want to uh, to talk to you first. I, we've had an opportunity to visit before. As a matter of fact, it was three years ago. You were a freshman back then, and I got to write a story for you for KansasSports.net. And you were talking even back then about you know being someone who likes to encourage and, and really build someone up, but you know is there a place for that as a freshman to do that? And it seemed like you found your place and even then, but now you've grown. Three years down the line, a part of this program, how has your role changed, and has it changed at all? Are you still that kind of player? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think um, just growing in that role has uh, just changed a lot, but also – just being older and being able to figure out what that looks like more than not um, has just been really cool. So um, just being a senior this year and being able to um, have incoming people, either like Jaden or the freshmen or even like other transfers, it's just been really cool to um, meet them and see them and uh, yeah, just get to encourage and kind of hopefully help them out a little bit, but also they've done super well in encouraging others and it's just kind of contagious on the on this team is just the encouragement that goes around. Well, it looks like it really is a team effort. I mean, you have five players right now that are averaging in double-figure scoring and all in between 10 and 11 points, right around that mark. But it's clear that the ball does move around a lot there and, and that you're able to get everyone involved. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, we have a new high score pretty much every every game day. <laughs> so, um, it's hard for the other teams defensive-wise to, you know, get stops and stuff like that but it just goes to show like how much confidence we have in each other and um, how much we trust each other and we have some good scores on the team so that always is a fun a fun role you know and as a senior too you have four seniors on the roster and sometimes when you know you have three or four seniors you might get contributions from one to all four of your seniors really are contributors to this team yes for sure um we've kind of grown up for most of us in this program and so just getting um, those chances and opportunities that coach has given us it just has put us in a good spot especially as seniors to just really um, fulfill those roles. Well you get to bring somebody new then uh, you were talking about transfers and one of those is the the person that is sitting next to you right now and Jaden Hobbs and Jaden uh, obviously you bring a lot to the table coming into Fort Hayes State uh, you won three state championships in high school and I had the opportunity to to follow you from well, I'm going to say from afar. I mean, you were in the northwest part of Oklahoma. I'm in the southeast part of Oklahoma. And so a lot of that is, is by way of the Internet, which I'm thankful for, by the way, too. Uh, but you bring a lot to the table. You went from high school to Oklahoma State University, a Division I program, and, and, and got to spend a couple of years with that program up there. How did you wind up in Hayes, Kansas then? Honestly, it kind of just worked out for me. I The major that I wanted to go with, they offer it here at Fort Hayes State where it wasn't offered where I was at. Um, so obviously basketball played a little bit of a role in that as well, just so I could, you know, be able to play and hopefully get my major at the same time. But that was really the, one of the main things that I was looking for when I entered the transfer portal is I wanted to find the major that I was looking for. You know, and I say you bring a lot to the table basketball-wise, I would imagine getting to come and be a part of a program like Fort Hayes State that is a perennially powerful program and and just be a part of, of what all is going on there in a tough conference like the MIAA too would have to be something that would challenge someone like you that is such a great competitor. Of course, yeah. Like Just coming into this conference, you know, obviously I'm new and I realized very quickly that every conference game is going to be a tough game, you know, day in and day out. Um, it's something that no game is given, and like I said, that's something that I learned very quickly. One of my daughters and I were in Hayes back in November. We were doing uh, one of the shows, Midwest Sports Saturday, and had the uh, chance to – uh, visit the soccer complex, and we got to look around the campus. It's an absolutely beautiful campus. Uh, the only place I didn't get to go that day that I really would have liked to have gone was inside uh, Gross Memorial and, and get to see inside the gymnasium there. What's it like to play in a facility like that? It's awesome. Um, last night, for example, um, you know, the last 
I don't know, a minute or so. The gym was so loud. <laughs> I haven't played in an atmosphere like that in a long time where it's, you know, it's big but small and it's filled and it's loud. And it's something that is really cool to have as an experience under, you know, my belt and everybody else's. And so it's just really, really cool that the fans are basically the sixth man. It's, it looks like it's just a, a, a fun place to be all the way around from, from start to, to finish and a, a great place to go to, to school as well. Here on the summit, we're visiting with Casey Kennedy and with Jaden Hobbs from Fort Hayes State. The Tigers 11-1 and one on the season, and I'll address both of you now then as, as you got off to a good start and, you know, unscathed in your record through non-conference play before you get into a couple of MIAA games and then you take a couple of losses you write the ship in Florida and then as the calendar has turned a couple more wins now in conference play as well what did you do after those two losses how do you adjust things and uh, get it together taking on and getting wins in Florida at neutral sites against tough teams like Harding and St. Anselm yeah for sure I mean uh Emporia and Kearney are both hard places to play, and we struggled there pretty much all four years that I've been here. Um, those are always super close games, but for us to get those two wins in Florida were big, and, um, I mean, we knew we needed to rebound and get those two games. Uh, Harding's in our our region, so looking um, at that kind of standpoint, it's those – I mean, that was a huge win for us, and then St. Anselm being number eight or whatever they were, um, being able to knock them off um, – just kind of goes to show that we we definitely have um, that potential, and we we were still I feel like just looking for ourselves and what this team is going to be about this year. But I think that really helped confidence wise and just um, helped us find our identity identity better. Jaden, you got your first MIAA wins uh, in January now, and and uh, picking up uh, a a big victory. Uh, last night you talked about the one-point win there. What was that like then? Yeah, as you, you mentioned, the crowd being a part of it, but really uh, getting the team together then and, and holding on to pick up that, that crucial victory. I think we went through a little bit of adversity, just like any other team does, but I think we did a really good job of grinding through that and really coming together and staying focused and really just mainly getting as many defensive stops as we could, and I think that's what led us to, to the win. Well, it's a team that uh, really, again, is year in and year out uh, a, a tough team to face in, in Fort Hayes State. Casey, after having been a part of it now for three years, and, and the program it just continues to, to grow and grow and grow. Last season, your junior year, 32-2 and two the record. You make it all the way to the regional final and uh, the Sweet 16, if you will, in Division Two. I'll address both of you. You both have state championships under your belt. I know we talked about yours, Jaden, in basketball. And Casey, I know you have a couple of softball state championships as well as being an all-stater yourself in basketball i don't want to downplay that <laughs> not 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 at all but uh now the 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 goals i'm sure are higher for you casey since you've been there and you want that regional championship to make it to the elite eight and the national championship so uh, both of you answer then what does it take then to take this to the next level i think just <laughs> being uh, i'll go first i think just us being um tough as a team all together and I think just having us um, growing each day individually and as a team I think that's going to ultimately lead us to our goals but just realizing that like I said earlier day in and day out nothing's given to you and you have to work hard and you have to take it to to lead you to those goals like you had just talked about. Yeah I agree with what Jaden had to say for sure and also just knowing that everybody on the team has a role so whether you are starting and you're getting you know 30 40 minutes a game or you're the person on the bench like encouragement's big urgency's big and it takes the whole team um to go far and i think last year we learned that a lot we had our bench was <laughs> very hype all the time and <laughs> it's just encouraging to be out on the floor when you see your whole team that like they have your back and so um that's definitely something that'll be big in this year too and you know you had some, some quality players from last year's team move on. It looks like all you guys ever do is just reload. So last question then for both of you. What is your favorite part of being at Fort Hay State? My favorite part is definitely just the support that we get from our fans and the whole town in general. Um, like Jaden said, our crowd is just one of a kind, and we definitely got to witness that in the NCAA tournament last year when we got a host. Um, we had people parking out in the grass because there was no room left in the, 
in the parking lot and they had to stop counting people just because there's just so many. So just to know have that. To, have to lie to the fire marshal at that point in time as to how many people are actually there. <laughs> yeah. Just to <laughs> support uh, women's basketball like that is just crazy because there's a lot of programs that don't ever get that good of a fan base. And, I mean, you have people that they stay after the game. And they just want to talk to you and tell you, like, congrats. And um, I've never been a part of anything like that. So just the fan base has definitely just changed my outlook on um like how people see us and it's just a cool platform to have um for all those people i think my favorite part is probably just how close all of us girls are on the team you know it's important to have good team chemistry and i think our chemistry is great on and off the floor you know we all we all get along we're all best friends we all hang out with each other all the time and that's something that's really important in order to be successful um, later on down throughout a playoff run. Um, and I think that's probably what my favorite part is overall is just how close we are. Well, you talk about a potential playoff run, and I, I would be surprised if there was anything less than that from you all. Again, Fort Hayes State, the Tigers now 11-2, and two, midway through the season, and the tough MIAA schedule continues on. Casey Kennett and Jaden Homs, thank you very much for taking time with me today on the Summit. I really appreciate you all stopping by. Thank you for having us. And thanks to everyone for watching. Please be sure and like and share this video. And I encourage you to subscribe to this channel, to the MidwestSports.net channel. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. God bless you. Have a great day.